Hello, Master Gary Hernandez here and welcome to our YouTube channel, Kane Self-Defense with Gary Hernandez. Today I wanted to talk about single-handed block. Before I showed in one of the older videos a double-handed high block, today I want to talk about a diagonal block. And we're going to cover just one side right now for when you have your cane, whether it's your right or your left hand, I'll show you real quickly on both of those. But the diagonal block, we're going to do it there's a double-handed one, but we're going to do this one single-handed. And we're going to do it single-handed because if you're walking around and you have, maybe you have an injured hand or you're carrying something or you have somebody with you and you need to go to a single-hand block, the diagonal blocks are a really good block. Now this block also has been called a roof block, a bow block, a side angle block, and diagonal block. So different systems call it by different names. So this block is great when someone's swinging at you. They could be swinging, even if they're swinging coming down in vertical or diagonal. Most people swing at a diagonal section. Most of them are swinging diagonal at you. Very few people swing with a horizontal and a vertical. Even though they, they're swinging down, they're still most of the times coming in a way diagonal. So that's probably one of the most popular ways someone's swinging at you when they're angry. So this block's gonna be able to cover that very well. How this block works is you simply chamber down like you do most of the times. We chamber down so we can lift our cane, obviously. Chamber down, it's going to come up just like that. I'll show you a little bit closer. As I lift up, I'm gonna bring it at a diagonal angle. Now, I'm gonna take my body, because I'm not a big 100% fan that I'm going to stand there and stop something. I'm going to take my body and kind of move a bit. So it's going to come up. I'm going to step a little bit to the side and allow it to hit and skim down. Now, one of our students, Mr. Bob Kelly, is going to help me with that. Mr. Bob. Now I'm going to stand here and let him swing at me so you can understand where his target is going to. He's going to either my head or my collarbone just like that. So as he does that, I'm going to block it just like this. Now I'm going to show you on both sides. Notice the hand. My hand's going to come up. Remember what I said in the past? My hand has a job. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you with this cane again from here. As he swings, boom, just like that. This hand has a job because it can reach out, grab his weapon. If he's in close, I can smash him with the horn. He swings again. I can also step back and hit him with the cane. I'm going to show you on this side for a minute. He swings at me. As it blocks, if this doesn't bounce off and redirect, I can catch it. If I'm in close, striking him with the horn. If he's a little further back, stepping back and hitting him in the head or collarbone. So it comes up. It blocks and comes around. If it's in this hand, same thing. It comes up, it blocks, this hand comes up, and it comes around. I'm wanting the object to hit, bounce, or skim off at an angle. I don't want to sit here and try to muscle up with it because I don't have the strength of a two-hand hold, so it can hit and bend. So as it hits, I want it to skim off. That's why it's angled. And then I can come around and swing or hit and come around and hit with the handle of the head. So it's a great block to do when someone's swinging at you and it's gonna knock the target away, or sorry, it's gonna knock the weapon away and give you a chance to go into that target area, hopefully the head or the collar. So hopefully that helps. So you should practice that. Remember, just bring it up, angle it, and whether it's going to be in close or whether it's going to be swung at a distance, it's a great block to do. So thank you very much. If you get an opportunity, please subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting out videos every week on different topics, but all of it will be about the cane. And this is Gary Hernandez. Thank you very much.